This DeWalt drill will break your wrist. Just like that. It'll break. All right, guys, well, so today we're finally back. I've started my transmission mount and we're going to get that wrapped up so we can get our transmission set and where it's going to instead of on this stupid pipe I've had it sitting on for four weeks. And then I, th I think we're gonna start mounting the nose cap and then sheet metal. So I'm kind of excited, let's see where it goes. All right, so we got our piece tacked in place. I have a couple little gussets we're gonna put in here just for safety. So we'll get them welded in place. I have to clean them up, but get them welded in place. And then we'll fully weld this top piece, fully weld the bottom, probably put a couple welds on the side since it is a transmission mount. So let's get to that. Let me clean these up real quick. Okay. You guys complained about my audio, so I bought lapel mics so you can actually hear me. Kind of excited about that. Okay, let's see. Grab a glove, welding helmet. Let's weld all this stuff in place. Make sure our gas is on. Okay. Tack our other one in place. Okay. Get some measuring. Make sure that still fits. Three inches. Yep. Three inches is plenty. Am I right? Okay. Let's fully weld all this real quick. Put the side. Turn this down a little bit. A little hot. I impress myself sometimes, ladies and germs. Flip this over and weld the bottom. Tell you what, it's almost like I know what I'm doing, but I really don't. Not too bad for a dumb redneck. Okay, that needs to cool off for a minute because that is hot. Hot, hot. I need to grind off a spot on each side so I can tack the pipe in place. Whoops. Okay. up before that melts that rubber. Make sure we're level, not really. Right about there. And we're melting that. Need to hurry up here. Okay, let's get that rubber piece off there. A little melty melty. It's almost like that well taut. Okay, there's that. I'll put it in square. I'll let that cool off. That'll melt my rubber. <laughs> So next, well that's cool, I'll tell you. I'm gonna have to cut braces, triangulate the frame here to give it a little more strength. So I'll cut them. All right, so my little handy dandy Harbor Freight tube notcher. Turn this down. This DeWalt drill will break your wrist if you're not careful. Got this little pin that holds it up. Tell you what, Harbor Freight thinks of everything, dude. I swear, so smart. Okay, let's go back over here real quick show you what I'm working with. Don't get too excited. It's just a black pipe. <laughs> okay, so that'll go here. Now I just need to figure out my other angle. It looks like about 45, to be honest. That's what I might do. Just make it 45, whatever that happens to be. Just my speed square. Oops, make a mark. So let's see if we can make that work. Let's go back over here. Okay, so. We'll adjust our thing to 45 degrees. Our precision tooling we have here. 11.43, holy cow. Time flies when your life's fun. i to move this up, I guess, too. I need to cut this off, be right back. Okay. Slice this off a little shorter, so I'll fit my tube notcher. Hot. So it should be perpendicular to that. Oh. Take this. Things were zero degrees, which holy cow, we're exactly at zero. That never happens, especially when the cameras are on. Okay. Just like that, it'll break it. Okay. So one bad thing about this Harbor Freight tube notcher, I guess it's not just Harbor Freight, but you gotta take it out sometimes on angles because the hole saws aren't deep enough. I need deeper hole saws, I guess. Let me cut this off. I think we can still get through that. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, let's see if that fits or not. If so, we gotta make one more of them. Need a rag. Raggedy rag, rag, rag. Back over here we go. Okay, let's see if this fits. Okay, I think it will. Oh, that's a beautiful thing right there. Okay, make one more of those. Identical to that. I won't bore you guys with that. I'll be right back. Okay, so we got both of our pipes cut. 
you saw the first one, I just modeled the second one, obviously, for the next one. I ground all my spots. I'm going to have to grind that one a little bit differently real quick. So anyway, you saw the first one, I just copy and pasted for the second one. Got my spacer for my correct, whoops, my correct frame width, width. get that in here real quick, which ought to be interesting. Got it. That was easy. Okay, everything fits pretty good. You grab framing square, wherever it's at, right here. They work better if you throw them on the ground. Guess what we can do is make sure our side rails are plumb. That one is not. They're perfect back there, so we need to get them perfect up here, obviously. I'm gonna get a hammer. Have one out somewhere. Okay. Out with that. It's good on all your levels and everything if you drop them a bunch. Okay, so I need to put some pressure on this. Just a wee bit. Like so. Okay, we're good there. Make sure this is plumb. Mark it. Good there. Double check that way. Beautiful. Let's tack this old dude in place. Okay, a couple tacks. Everything's still good. Beautiful. Check this direction. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. Still good up here. All right, Tay. I believe that's it. Okay, I'm scared I wasn't recording. This should be able to get set back down in here, in theory. Right where she goes. Now everything works out. Should be able to put the level on the valve cover. Beautiful. That is a beautiful thing. Now I don't need this leaky jack anymore, so that's nice. And obviously my output shaft will come there. Okay, we're getting places, ladies and gentlemen. So the plan, let me back you guys up here. The plan is, grab my bucket. Dad cut me out a half inch plate that's going to cap all of this. So the seat has something to sit on and then it protects me from the drive shaft if it ever decides to explode. So it'll go from right in front of where the four link brackets are, the top four link brackets are, and it will come right about to here. And then the sheet metal will stop about here. I'll have pedals underneath here. I have a spot for a battery, master cylinder, stuff like that. So the next step is gonna be starting to mount sheet metal, I believe. But first, I believe grandma's got some food, so we're gonna go eat. So now we're gonna start mounting our nose piece. Try to get this sheet metal figured out. I've been itching to do this for a while now. This is the exciting part when it starts looking like a tractor. Gotta decide our height of everything. The lower, the better, in my opinion. Make it look rat rotty. That's what I'm going for. Obviously, everything's gotta be pretty level. Grab my level. I like that height. What is that height measure? About 35, roughly. About 34 and a quarter. That's where I'd like to be. So it tucks the tire real nice in the rear. I'm gonna grab a front tire. I got the wheels mounted. So they're gonna look pretty slick. I'm gonna paint them. Right now they're two different colors, but we can fix that in post-production, right? I believe it sits right about there. Yeah, that's the height I like, right about there. And I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna custom make four pipes that come straight out and probably angle up just a smidge, like a little miniature zoomies is the plan for right now. But that's on down the road. So 34, Let's try to set the other side of the hood up. It'll be interesting because it doesn't really bolt anything. It just hooks over that half of the clamshell, like so. I'm trying to make everything work together happily is gonna be interesting for sure. Sit on wires, we're no longer level either. Drop down a little bit. So that's pretty level right there. It's about 34, so we drop a little bit. I'm gonna have to weld these two halves of the hood together so it like goes on as one piece, probably. So the two halves stay, because this little thing, obviously for the speeds we're trying to go, <laughs> aren't gonna work. So maybe that's what I'll work on first is getting this clamshell fixed together permanently so it just sets on because there is this piece which on the tractor was where the gas tank was i'm assuming that'll be permanently affixed and then there is a little piece somewhere right here it is mounts in here i believe i could be wrong on that this could be on the back yeah this was probably on the back i don't actually i don't think it was yeah, i don't believe it was okay so this goes here, which doesn't really make any sense, but it doesn't have to be perfect as long as it works, right? So maybe that's what we do. We work on getting, we'll make it one monolith. No, we won't. We'll bolt it together with this for now. So it's one monolithic piece all the way back, but the, we'll weld these two pieces together. That way these two pieces slide over this and the nose piece, and then there'll be bolts that'll be through bolted with lock nuts because I don't want this flying off at 120 mile an hour. And then we can start bracing everything up back here and 
getting our metal set in. So let's do that. Probably gonna have to move to the front of the garage to have room to do all this, which is fine. Let's do that. I'll get back with you when I'm set up. Okay, so instead of setting up in the front of the garage, we're just gonna set up right here. That's gonna be cramped, but that's fine. Put some bolts in here to lock this side in. So that goes like so. I know that for a fact. So let's grab the other half of this. Because it was just a tractor, just set on here. Which, when your top speed is 23 mile an hour, 26, whatever they are, that's fine. But, but when you're trying to go 130 in a quarter mile in under 10 seconds, that's no bueno. Not a big deal. We just gotta make this to where it's one piece, one homogenous piece, which will simply probably be done by, there's three bolts here, which are fine. We'll probably put one, two, three, four on the sides to match this on the nose piece so it's nice and through bolted. Same back here. So we have plenty of stuff to hook to. And then probably what we'll do is every, because that's 48, so it's a nice round number. Probably, probably every eight inches. I can't do that because that's right there. Every six inches. We'll probably just make it whatever, I guess. That way this whole nose cap is one homogenous piece. And then this whole, this will stay put all the time. It'll be permanently affixed to the frame. And this will just pick up and off when it's unbolted. Then when it's as low as this is, there's probably gonna be a cutout for a carburetor sticking through the top of this. I kind of wanted a clean hood, but I don't know. I think a carburetor sticking through might be kind of cool. Maybe like a functional shaker hood be kind of cool. So now that that's figured out, I need to try to see if I can figure out how to mount this nose piece. I got these pieces cut. I didn't bore you with that because you've seen it. It's just notch and tubes. So these are cut. I'm gonna slide them back, grind out, get them nice and plumb so those are in, tack them in place. Make sure these rails are level with the rest of the frame and go ahead and weld all the way around the tube, top and bottom. This is just a frame extension. And then once that's tacked in place, I can start working on how I'm gonna mount the nose piece. There's that. That'll do, donkey. Now that's where it needs to go. Go ahead and weld this up. Okay, it's gonna be hot, so I'll stay away from it for a few. I'll be plenty strong enough. I think we're still going to, just for extra strength, so when I start making real power, we're gonna sheet this whole outside with quarter inch and stitch weld every five, six inches, maybe even the whole way, I don't know. Make it look cleaner, it'll look more like a tractor frame for two. Third reason is it'll help with flex. Uh, and third, fourth, whatever reason I'm on, it'll add some more weight in the back, so I'm gonna need it. That'll probably be the route there. So now we gotta figure out how we're gonna mount this nose piece, which I think I have an idea. And that idea is here in these corners, add a piece of half inch, probably two inches wide, two or three inches wide, probably be 10 inches long. It'll get fully welded. And then that's what that nose piece will sit on. And I'm gonna tack it in place now, make sure everything works. And then once frame's done and everything, and we're going through fully weld and everything, I'll fully weld it in and it'll just get painted, the bottom of it probably. So I'd like that nose piece to be welded in rigid because I don't want anything that heavy flying off at fast speeds. So that's the plan for now. Okay, I'll show you guys what I'm doing here. Cut out these half inch plates, then get welded right in here like so. And that is what our nose piece over there, the legs of it will sit on to get tacked in place. We'll grab a glove and we'll tack this one in place real quick. Do the same thing on the other side. I think that'll work pretty good. So now, set this nose, nose piece in here. See what it looks like. Worked like a dream. That's obviously a little too high. We gotta cut the legs off a little bit. Right now we're at 37 and three quarter. I'd like to be at 34. Yeah, I'd like to be at 34, I believe. See, so we're at 37 and three quarter. I wanna go to 34, so three and three quarter. Let's just go ahead and go four inches. Cut four inches off the legs on both sides. I think I can set you like that to do that. And there's a little bit of an angle to it, so we'll do that as well. Let me get my Sharpie. I remember where I left it. I'm gonna go four inches to three and three quarters. Cut that off. Okay, that actually works out a little better. Yeah, that was quiet. I'm gonna have to get a new battery. Using a seven inch cutoff wheel on a little three and a half inch grinder is kind of sketchy, but it actually works pretty good. Being able to talk to you guys while I'm all the way over here, it's kind of a neat little deal. Should have got one of these microphones a long time ago. Hope that's correct. That's that. Set you back in here. That should be about the right angle at angle. So let's measure that and make sure I didn't mess up. Oh, my ears are ringing. About 34, 33 and three quarter. So a little low, but that's not a big deal. A little lower ain't gonna hurt my feelings. 
at all. I need to fully weld these pieces real quick. Okay, so I got those fully bubble gum welded in there. Uh, actually, they're not that bad, so. Set you back up here. That is roughly where that goes. We're gonna measure back and even them out on both sides. Make a little sharpie mark. Okay, here's our marks. That's where she sits. And finally, we have a nose piece. Let's step back, take a look, make sure it looks level. It looks really good, actually. This thing's gonna look chop when it's down. I'm gonna dig it. Okay, shut our gas off so don't waste Dad's fuel. May have chopped it a little too much, ladies and germs. I don't know if there is such a thing, but I dig it though. That's pretty level right there, actually. That's it right there. Yeah, I definitely chopped it a little too much, but <laughs> that looks good. Yeah, I dig that. Try to hang this on. I have to do some trimming on some sheet metal, but not much. It's like playing Jenga. For once, you can actually see what this thing's gonna look like. Then there's these side skirts, whatever you wanna call them, that I will have to cut to length. Yeah, this thing's gonna look tough. It's gonna start dumping right when I wanna do an outro, naturally. Now that we got all that figured out, I need to order a drive shaft, which I can measure for now that my transmission's mounted in place. Dad has to machine the ends of my wheel hubs because the centering hub is like an eighth inch too big for the wheels I got, which I swore I checked that, but apparently I didn't. So he's gonna machine those down this week so I can next weekend assemble the rear end and get it sitting on the wheels. And then I need to get a sheet of 10 gauge and a half sheet of 14 gauge for various things we gotta do. I gotta try to find a radiator that'll fit in here, which is gonna be tricky because it's not a very big space, but we'll do what we gotta do. What else was there?